Alright guys, so uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I apologize for that. Been a little busy. But uh, let me adjust the camera here a little bit. I had promised a while back that when we had hit 50 members, I'd do an interview with uh, some of the true stars of the show. And this is one of them right here. His name is Artemis Americus. Rot Riller, Rot Riller. My wife named him, and uh, you know it's a play on on the old Roman naming system or whatever. But uh, yeah, so Artemis is not really my dog, although it probably seems like he is. Sit here, come on, sit. I found Artemis on. Uh, on one cold winter morning, when I was out feeding the uh, animals, I heard him over on the edge of the property, and uh, he was he was struggling to breathe. You could hear him kind of gasping for air. And uh, when I got to looking at him, he had one of those chains wrapped around his neck so tightly, uh, and he had broken it and it was he was still trailing it. It was about ten feet of uh that cable. It was a cable, not a chain, but yeah. Like the thing you would find on a uh, I don't know, some kind of apparatus to keep a dog in a certain space. But anyway, he had done dug it in enough where it's scarred right there. Um He'll probably always have that scar, but he was struggling to breathe and he was trying to eat some trash on the side of the road. He was about half his size in. I figured he was half grown in, but I think I had it wrong because I've only had him for six months and he's at least twice as big now as he was then, so it seems like uh, he's still got some growing to do. But um, he's just my buddy. I, Got him into the backyard, and when I cut the uh, the cabling off with a pair of bow cutters, I had my wife kind of entertain him and uh, you know calm him down until I could get the cable cut from around his neck. And uh, I fed him, and I was looking for you know tags or whatnot. And he didn't have any. And he's real skittish. If you go to move fast around Artemis, he. Uh, He'll cower a little bit, like he's been probably hit before. And I don't know uh, what his backstory is, honestly. Like I said, I found him when he was apparently just a half-grown pup. But uh, yeah, um, he obviously wanted to get away from wherever he was pretty badly because he uh, he about killed himself. To break the cable to get himself free from there he was willing to eat road kill so it just so happened that that morning I was cooking eggs and uh, bacon and I had an extra piece I went inside and got it and opened the gate and he smelled that bacon and he came right over to me and of course L Bell you know she was right on top of him because uh, she was needing somebody to play with and they've been the best of friends ever since but He's a pretty good boy. He's definitely my buddy. He, uh, very rarely. Oh, he's my side too often. So I'll go get the other one. All right. In here is Hellbell. Now, this house where we live at, we had bought it. Um, pre-foreclosure it had been abandoned for almost a decade before we got our hands on it so at the time when we got it we had to remodel it it took us about a year um, of getting it together before we had livable room in here and in that year I had gotten to know the neighborhood down here pretty good and a guy about four doors down um, had a big big giant blue uh, pet bull named Major. It was a really beautiful dog. And uh, Major had puppies. 
and he had told me um, that they were Blue Nose XLs. So I didn't know what that meant at the time. I knew it was at least a pit bull because, you know, Major was a pit bull and apparently it was a little bigger pit bull, but he had gotten a solid white female and uh, that turned out to be an Argentinian doggo. So what they do is they bleed the, uh, the pit bull to the Argentinian doggo and they make Elbel here, which is a blue nose XL. Um, she was born four doors down from this very building that we stand in. We've had her since she was six weeks old. She is my wife's absolute pride and joy. Yeah, very smart. She's the epitome of a nanny dog. If, hey, stand up. Now, sit. I'm trying to talk about you. You're laying down. Come on. Stand up. Hey, she don't like cameras. Yeah, but she is very much the epitome of a nanny dog. Um, so if you come in here and go to rough house with the boys or or want to play around you know she's quick to, to intercede and need that type of action but she's really a good dog um, even though my wife calls her the baby puppy you know she is quite a big dog and uh she really is a family dog you know she doesn't play favorites a whole lot she of course adores my wife the most but she, uh, she's good to me. We've always had a special relationship as well. But anyways, I wanted to do the saga of Artemis and Elbel. We finally passed 50 viewers, sir, 50 subscribers. So way to go. We're on the way. And I promised the special interview in one of those segments. This was it. You got an interview with my dogs because of all the things you guys like you like my dogs the most it seems so here they are this is elbel the other one was artemis i'm going to dedicate this uh episode to my brother-in-law uh mr layton and uh and his family because i know they enjoy these so everybody else have an excellent day excellent weekend Oh, see you next time.